world this is Ari and welcome to unboxings guess what I got it is the new Star Wars Rogue One box and this I believe is um, our November box and they come every two months with your smugglers bounty subscription so let's see what this box has in store for us open this up oh my pen is kind of off here but um this is I think this is K2SO I think that's what this droid's name is but that's the pen hopefully you guys can see that clearly and then our patch oh I don't know who is on this patch I don't remember the name of the guy who's on the patch. But hopefully you guys can see that clearly. And then it, I'm sure we'll have it in the, uh, the card here. So we'll save that for last. I do want to show you guys this shirt. Even though sometimes I don't open my shirts. But I do want to show you guys this shirt. That is badass. I like that design. I might wear this when I go see the movie. I'm waiting for tickets to go on sale. Hopefully I can get into the IMAX in Man's Chinese Theater. Oh my gosh. Wow. 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 Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is in here is like freaking awesome, okay? This is a Hikari Mini of Darth Vader. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking awesome. I didn't even know they made Hikari Minis. But apparently they do. And then we have the Imperial Death Trooper. And you can see he is part of this set. He is a Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. And then we have Jin Erso. And she's in her spy gear. So K2SO, I was right about that. K2SO is an enforcer droid, formerly of the Galactic Empire's armed forces. He was reprogrammed by Captain Cassian Andor to serve the Alliance. And that's Captain Cassian Andor on the patch. Now that I see the name, it's like, oh yeah, that is Captain Cassian Andor on the patch. Anyway. Captain Cassie and Andor of the Alliance is featured on the exclusive Rogue One patch. Putting behind a checkered past by lending her skills to a greater cause, Jen Erso is impetuous, defiant, and eager to bring the battle to the Empire. Used to operating alone, she finds higher purpose by taking on a desperate mission for the Rebel Alliance. And so you see here, you see Jen Erso and... The sculpt and what it took to make that new uh, exclusive Jen Erso pop. Then we have Smuggler's Bounty exclusive Death Trooper stands in a unique pose and is decorated with an ammunition belt packed with explosives. So again, here's the sculpt and everything that it took to make and design. The Death Trooper for this month's box. Then Lord Vader is the first mini Hakari ever made by Funko and comes in silver, blue, red, black, and gold. Awesome! Okay, so I don't know if it says, it doesn't say anything about um, people getting 
different ones, but I guess people will be getting different ones um, randomly in the boxes because um, they all say Smuggler's Bounty exclusive in the final packaging picture there, if you could see that. Hopefully you can see that clearly. Yeah, so it depends, I guess, randomly, whichever you got, if you got the, which color you got, and the first ever mini Hikari, like I, like I was like, I didn't even know they made mini Hikaris. Yeah, that's because they didn't make mini Hikaris until, to like now, like right now. <laughs> I want all the colors. I want all the colors. I'm glad I got silver, but I want red, blue, black, and gold. So I guess I'm going to have to get like five more of these boxes. <laughs> Or find out where I, like someone, find someone who will trade me or let me buy it off them. I don't know. Because I want every one of them. They all look very cool. Let me know which one, which color you got. If you get Smuggler's Bounty, let me know which color you got in the comments below. And then check out the original sketches for the Smuggler's Bounty exclusive Rogue One Pop Tee. Make sure to wear yours to the theater this December. Yes, I will be wearing mine to the theater this December. And you can see, hopefully you guys can see the original sketches that they had there for the t-shirt design. But uh, I think the original concept sketches turned out much like the the final design. They're they're not they're not any different, or they don't really look that different. They look like they were going. They started with an idea and they kept that idea going through to the final um, concept design. So, yeah, love it, love it, love it. And then we have here, January's box theme is Empire Strikes Back. And Smuggler's Bounty is going to have a Tauntaun and Han Solo included in every box. It's 100% exclusive item right here. So the ex the pictures that we've seen of the Tauntaun Han Solo, um, we know that's going to be exclusive to Smuggler's Bounty. So you have to be um, subscribed to Smuggler's Bounty to get this box and get this Tauntaun and Han Solo. Because yeah, that's, that's, that's a really nice, that's a really nice pop. I like that pop. I'm going to be very excited to get that pop. <laughs> but I hope that they're going to include something else in the in the box that's going to surprise me as much as Han, Han Solo in Tauntaun. Well, the Han Solo on a Tauntaun isn't really going to surprise me because I know about it. But I probably will forget by January, just like I forgot that these two were already touted to be in the Smuggler's Bounty. <laughs> These two were already advertised to be in the Smuggler's Bounty, and I forgot that they were. So they, so technically, these two really weren't a surprise to other people except for me because I forgot. But this was a surprise. This was totally a surprise because I had no idea this was coming. I had no idea this even existed. So hopefully in January, we get another surprise other than the Tauntaun Han Solo, but... Like I said, it's probably going to leave my mind as soon as I'm done recording this video. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for watching. Remember, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, visit our website, geekgirlworld.com, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more unboxings. Bye!